Today's scammer calls himself Reverend Father John Gadebo, the executive director of Special Duties Central Bank of Benin Republic. I received a very long and detailed email from him explaining that I was listed in his central computer as an unpaid contractor and that I'm due to receive my contract slash inheritance payment of $38.7 million to be delivered to my home address in two security proof boxes sealed with synthetic nylon. You can't make this stuff up. I replied to the reverend with all of my information and continued to play along for several days. He eventually told me that the boxes were being held in New York and I had to pay an $800 fee to have them airlifted to my house. He initially asked me to send a Walmart to Walmart money transfer addressed to somebody in Luthersville, Georgia. But after many excuses and much convincing, I was able to get him to accept payment in cash via FedEx. Now I continued to then push my luck by trying to get him to give me a receiver's address somewhere close to my hometown in Los Angeles, at least somewhere driving distance. And as my luck would have it, he sent me an address in Newark, New Jersey. The package was to be addressed to a Paul Femi, sent via FedEx overnight delivery, signature required. Now researching this address showed us that this is not a business, it is not a delivery company, it's just somebody's house. So now it's time for Trilogy Media to find out exactly who is collecting this money. We've sent an empty package via FedEx. We've given the Reverend the tracking number. And now it's time to confront Paul Femi face to face.
is that? What is this? What road are we on right now? Road 27, the Fred Allen Goose. Fred Allen Goose. chest. Parking or standing <laughs> 8 a.m. to 12. <laughs> that is funny. So you're supposed to sit over here? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm gonna give you a ticket for standing. I might walk Grizz to this side, and kind of parallel, so I can see across the street right at him. I'm gonna get out first just so I can get one shot of okay. Art walking up. Okay. okay. We're absolutely not suspicious. Big as black boat. I know exactly. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna shit my pants. I ain't have to shit too. Are you Paul? Looking for Paul Femi? Yes. Are you Paul Femi? Yeah, what's up, brother? Um, looking for Paul Femi. Okay, you're not me. Is it FedEx, right? Yeah. Okay. I just need to see ID. Is it, do you know this person? He yeah, asked me to receive it for him. He asked you to receive it for him? Okay, um, so you're not Paul Femi, right? Um, okay, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. So, this package, we send this package from Los Angeles, from California. Um, so, this is my brother. We um, investigate scam. Okay. So, this is a scam and uh, they send you email that you are um, entitled for $38 million and you have to send $1,200 uh, fees, right? So, he, he's, not, he's not Paul, but he's receiving packages. So. Have you ever gotten packages with like checks or cash in it or anything from anyone? Mm -hmm. No? Because I'm being scammed online and we like look into like scams and stuff. And I have this guy emailing me from Africa telling me, you know, you get like millions and millions of dollars. And he told me I needed to send $1,200 in cash to this address. So we flew from Los Angeles, California. We sent this package, right? And we want to see who is receiving this package because it's supposed to be like cash inside. So I'm just trying to see if you aware or you're not aware what's going on and you just like What was the direction for you um, when you received that package? 
Huh? Am I vintage or something? Say what? Am I vintage or something? Oh, it's it's just for our project. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not for you. Don't worry about it. If you want, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him uh, going not on. to film. No, we we're trying to see if you're a victim. You know, that's Sometimes the only they, thing. They scam people like you, and they tell you, hey, you just gotta send uh, forward this money. Yeah. Where, where do you say you're coming from? From well, uh, from Los Angeles, from California. So we send this package. So your address scammer gave uh, gave us this address. So who told you to pick up this package? Let's come and give you to, to pick up this package. Let's come and give you. Yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I show you? Can I show you on the phone? On, on the phone. I will show you the like the whole email. We're trying to see if you're aware of like what's going on. Like this is the guy, his name is Reverend Father John. It's a scammer, but his uh, good Gadebo. Uh, I forwarded your text to him and he said blah, 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 but the receiver's address. Newark, Third so, Hall um, Femi. So what's, what's, sorry, what's your name again? Oh, my name is Vlad. Um, I'm Ryan. Yeah. yeah, so Ryan, he's my brother sent this package. So what do you supposed to like when you're gonna receive that package, right? You said that you getting that package on behalf of Paul. You supposed to give it to him? Who is Paul Femi? I just said somebody said I should open the package. I just don't know the person. Open the package and what? You don't need to ask, don't ask me to open the package. I'm just supposed to receive. It. So can I, you say your name is Paul? I'm Ryan. He's Ryan, yes, yeah. he's the one who sent this package. So he's the sender. Okay, he's the sender. Yeah, he's the sender, exactly. Okay, you, could, you could just actually send it back to the person. Well, that's me. No, 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 it's him. That's that's exactly yeah. what I was trying to say. We're just we, trying to figure out who's, who's you know... Who's behind this? I just want I just want to figure out, like, if you're aware that the stuff that you're doing, picking up these packages, this is freaking illegal. They're stealing money from people. From innocent people. So this person is stealing money from you? Yeah. Yeah, $1, exactly. $1,200 cash. 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 What's that? I don't even know what's in the package. Cash. Cash. Wow. So my question is like, are you getting a percentage from receiving? Like, did they? I don't know anything. Did they offer you like any cash compensation I don't for know doing that? that? You can say here, it's making him uncomfortable. He don't see you. So if you can. Uh... So my question is, how did this guy find you? Who called you and told you, hey, pick up the package? Who's that guy? It's just just a random guy. Can I get my phone real quick? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we'll go. I'm gonna move down here. Yeah, let's not to push him, he's very uncomfortable with the camera. I think you're gonna contact that guy right now. Hey, thank you for coming back. So, um, I was just thinking, uh -huh. can I just um, track this person down and know where this person is? Oh, you show this person is from Africa. Because, uh, this person from Africa, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, so, I didn't, I didn't hear you. are you sure he's from Africa? Why can't you just track him down? Well, because we, we send them like IP trackers, so we know where they're sending the emails from. So we know the guy is in Africa, but he uses addresses in the United States to receive cash, and then whoever takes them is like laundering it back to them. Oh. But they'll usually like lie, like so they'll, they'll so tell is, people. Is this the first time you're getting something? No, no, we do this all the we time. Do, we, we do this like for five years, so we're tracking scammers from social security, refund scam, from, you know, like the scam, online scam. So this is a very common thing when they will use people like you are and they, they will take 5, 10, 15 percent from every single package. Okay, my, my question is, this, uh -huh. right? um, you said he is from Africa right? and you've, you've, tracked, you've been tracking him, right? The scammers. Yeah. 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 So like, is it the first time he's actually sending something? This one scammer, I haven't, this is new to talk to him, but these scammers do this over and over and over and over again okay, with many is, people. This is your first time talking to him? Our first time talking yeah, to this guy, this yes. specific scammer, first time. And I can we, show you the original email if you want. The email is that you won... Uh, so you know those spam emails you get? Okay. So I got one from, million dollars. from this John Gadebo. You know, it's all bullshit, but it's, hey, my name is John, executive director of the Benin Republic. Um, you oh. get all this money, and it's just this whole long story. And then so what we do is we talk to them and try to get to the bottom of what they want. And then eventually they promise you, they say, hey, I'm going to get like $30 million. You just have to send us $1,200 fee. You know, it's a scam. But they're using addresses here, and one of them, this is one of them. So that's why we're here so, to try to see. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out, like, if why. Maybe you're being scammed or someone else being scammed also. Because what they'll do is they'll take victims, 
and they'll lie to you and tell you, oh, it's 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 money coming to you, but it's really stolen from someone else, and then they have you send it forward it so they like use you to launder. So it, if know? we would not scam bait, he will be a victim. So this money will come from him to you, and you have to give that package to that guy. So how you supposed to meet with him? Like what was your order? I didn't know because according to this person, I'm supposed to just look at this package. I don't even know what's what's going but on. How I'm confused. But How do you just give it to someone? Do, do you have to, to give that package to somebody? It was like, it's supposed to be dropped in the mail, so you rang the door, I came out. You're right. It was supposed to be in the mail, so I was like, I was asking, is it FedEx? Like, right, FedEx, 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 FedEx yeah, yes, so exactly. I was like, FedEx always come here, and sometimes you're dropping in the mail. So when you, if you if the bell, I opened the door, I wasn't sure who, because I was like, right. is it a mail? You said it was FedEx. I'm like, I wanted you to drop in the mail. He, asked, he kept asking me, is it perfect? I'm like, dropping in because it's FedEx, they always drop in the mail. So probably he just come and takes it. I don't know, but he said it's for family, right? Yeah. Yeah, but my question is, do you live on this address? This is your house. I live with some my roommate. It's your roommate. No, I live with my cousin. Yeah. Okay. I, I know how. But did you there. did you meet him, Paul, in no, person? I don't even know who Paul is. That's why I asked you. Is this, this Fred? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You, normally, if Fred comes, they would drop something in the mail. Well, of course. But what specifically for this one? Like, what was your order? Get a package and one, and to give that package. Who do you need to give that package? How, like when you get the packages, right? So it was FedEx. You picked up, and you need to give that package somebody. Like I said, I I'm not the only one. I have like tenants to right, living here too. Uh -huh. So this is the first one, the second one. So normally when when the uh, package comes, they drop it in the mail. So right. when you hit the bell, I will have to come. Right, of course. Do the te tenants live here long term or is it short term? Because a lot of times they'll use like rental. Airbnb. Uh, air. This is just like a two tenant apartment. This is this is uh -huh. this is tenant back. Yeah. So it's a two tenant apartment. So and they live a long time, or just like. So we probably speak. I don't. I don't know speak. Yeah. That's probably what's going on. They're probably using like the tenants. They put. They'll take people and put them in Airbnbs and stuff, and then they have them receive packages and then forward them on. So, so they're but, they're using but, your house. But my question for you. From the beginning, when I asked you, are you expecting package? And you said yes. FedEx. I, yeah, FedEx, exactly. I, was, I wanted to tell you, like, dropping the mail. I was, when you, when you opened, you said this is your brother. And I, I got confused. Well, I get it. But you said that you have to give that package to somebody. You, you, get, you said that you get contact of this person. You have to give that package to somebody. Normally, you're supposed to drop it in the mail. Yes, absolutely. So what is the final destination of this? Who gonna get this? So you're gonna get and who you gonna give this? Like I said, I, I, this is... Two tenants of apartment. Okay. Limit of somebody's house in the window. Okay. So if this package is dropped in the mail right now, for okay. Days, if it's something I'm expecting, I'm supposed to have gotten a notification, right? Right. And I'll, I'll be, you know. But you, but you were expecting this package this morning. Not really. That it will be coming. So when you said FedEx. Yeah. When I, I said okay, FedEx. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to. That's why you, when, you, when you said it was your brother, because I was yeah. like, is this FedEx? Remember? I right. You, is this FedEx? And I said, said do you know Paul Femi? And I'm like, yeah, drop. I was like, yeah, I opened the door. When I immediately opened the door, and I asked you again, is this FedEx? Right? You said, yes, it is FedEx, but this is your brother. Uh, you, you, you sent it to your brother. I'm like, I got confused. I'm right, like, I but you in the beginning said that uh, somebody asked you to, to pick receive, up this package, yeah, to, to receive, receive a package. package. Yeah, but yeah. who asked you? Well, who is that person? I really do not know. This is someone that just come random. Like, just stop. When you see now, you, you what do you mean? Like, like random person gonna call you and say like, hey, pick up the package under your address? It just doesn't make sense. This is why, this is how you, you, you came here, FedEx, right? Right, exactly. Like I called you, you said this is for, for, for Yeah, for, this for, is for Femi, yes. You said you've been, you've been tracking this person all the way from, from Africa, right? So when you told me you've been tracking this, I got in I'm like, what's going on? Because I, I live here, if you're tracking somebody all the way from Africa, and you told me this is your brother, right? Right. This, this is your brother, right? And I'm like, okay, this is your brother. I said, you wanted to receive a package from Paul, right? You said it's from Paul Femi. I'm like, okay, if it's Femi, I want to tell you to drop it in the mail and go back upstairs. But since you started telling me stories about him trying to get scammed, that's right, interesting. Right, I can't right, see, you know, can't right. To you. So I don't know what you. Well, we're here because there's the cash, my cash in here. I was told. I didn't know that was cash in, in a, it was cash. Right. But I have thought, you. I thought but he was trying have, to play a game with me. No, no, no. There is no games. No. So, but have you get have you get promise to get like make a little money or anything from no, this no, no, package? No, no, no. Maybe I heard a bit, bit like came out. Maybe I heard a bit like came out. What? What? Say it again. So you made that the bell I came out. You, yeah, I understand. But this is how it works. The cash mules, you know, like people like you are, mm -hmm. it's like two ways. Either you're a scammer or you're a victim or you're a cash mule. You're getting these and give it to him and getting paid for this. No, I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting paid for it. Well, that's why we're trying to see if scammer is using this address. It might be because this is this is, this is Newark. 
anybody anybody could be a victim of, of anything. This is but this person doesn't live here, right? This no, whole no, family. This family no, nobody poor family lives here. It's me and my cousin. I live here. You and your cousin. Yeah. So if it's only two people, you and your cousin. Nobody's poor family here. No, I know, but I'm trying to say if it's only two people on this address, package arrived, no, who you guys I love for staying back to. Huh? I love for staying back to. Again, what? I'm not staying at the back too. It's just like Or oh, some people staying in the back. Oh, I thought you said two this is a two tenants, uh this is a two family house. Yeah. We're staying up the only first staying at the back. Okay. So that's why there is two uh, yeah, yeah, mailboxes. Yeah, yeah. But like I'm right now freaking confused. The thing is just like you you got you Either you done, just I've hmm? done a lot. I feel like you you would you you be able to track him down. Like this is this is probably see this is the first time he's doing it. No, it's not the first time he's doing it. He just happened to get in contact with me. Yeah. And what we do is we chase these down to try to help people because people get scammed for thousands of dollars, like old ladies and stuff, you know. So this is how they do it. They email people and they promise you money. So you just played along. Say again? I think so you just played along. We're just playing along, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we, we yeah, scam yeah, baiting. Yeah. We like, okay, pretending that we are a victim. And when that scammer comes to us, he thinks he's scamming us. But we just trying to find a road of, you know, like all these roaches from where they're coming. Why are they using this address? Okay, this address, have you used this address? This is first time that, you know... From us. From us. But I'm pretty sure you've been saying that there is always packages from FedEx, you know, drop off. Yeah, yeah I, I guess something from FedEx, like mm -hmm. my name. Yeah. So when you... I wasn't expecting... What is your name, by the way? My name is Sam. Sam? Yeah. So when you said, um... It was FedEx, right? So I wasn't expecting anything. So I told him it was my cousin. He was, he said it was. Poor. I was like, okay, keep in the room because it might be from people living in the back. So yeah. when, it's, when you, when you talk, your, your cousin is here. No, no, he's not here. Okay, okay. I would well, love to talk to him. What I would suggest is keeping an eye out for any packages with this name on it. Because okay. if it it's has this it, name on it, it's stolen money from people. You're going to receive a package today that's going to be arriving at noon? Yeah, by noon o'clock. Yeah. It's going to be another package. Whoever is taking that is laundering money through a, a crime. I'm, we not cops, okay? So we cannot tell you what to do. But if you somehow you involved in this, be careful. Next time, instead of us, it's going to be cops knocking on the door. We documentaries we public you know like we're doing public service but next time if somehow you're lying right now and you and you and you somehow you know this poll somehow you involved in this so, uh, just be is, careful because you're gonna get caught and you're gonna go to prison for this sure i, I know i know stuff like this but the point is just like is this is this name is this name popping up all the time it doesn't matter they it, use a bunch of names they, and but, yeah it's but they this need, house they this need house. somebody to receive it and then send it off because if I will give you this package, you have to take this package living on this address mm -hmm. and Everything send it. Gonna be on me. If yeah, I, if I take yeah exactly. Yeah, wow. exactly. So you receive that package. That's why they responsible. use people like you because they don't want to get caught. So they lie to you and they make you do it. But you don't realize, people like you don't realize it's illegal. They'll tell you something else or they'll lie to you. You know, they'll be like, oh, this is just your payment for so and so or whatever. So you don't think you're doing anything wrong, but really you're helping them scam people. Because in yeah. the beginning of our conversation, you said that somebody told me to pick up the package that was exactly your words so you were expecting a package today and you have to give that package to somebody nobody was supposed to be on the mail okay because if, for this package this, this is if it's if it's not on the mail it's gonna be dropped down no i understand so but when you, you when you rang the bell i was i was curious like i opened and i asked you fedex it wasn't even dressing like fedex right I, when the first i wouldn't open the first one so you weren't even dressing like fedex i'm like fedex and you started telling me stories so i got interested I wanted to hear what you had to say Okay. All right, brother. Just well, nothing again, else we can do. nothing else we can um, do. But just, just again, please be careful, uh, especially if there's other people renting from you. I get it. Just so be careful. Okay. For Watch out for these. If you're involved, stay away. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Have okay, a good day. Uh huh. Cheers, brother. Crazy. I don't know. I have mixed feeling. I have mixed feeling. Okay guys, let's go, okay? You guys walking like you're ready to go, like hit the pool. <laughs> Fuck it, and get pina colada. Let's get the fuck out of here. I have feeling he knows what's up, he just playing, you know, right. he's a nice guy, but again... But without in, in, proof, we can't, like... No, I, you know, no, I hear you. That, yeah, of course, you know? I hear you. He was expecting package, he was like... I heard, yeah. He was expecting package. I heard that. And he was saying that somebody told him to pick up the package. 
So even he's a nice guy, but he's a nice liar. Yeah, he's covering it. He's covering for somebody, and again, like, you know. It took him a long time to get his phone. It's a long ass house. So who knows, you know, it's a living room or it's a. Yeah, but why did he get his phone? He didn't use his phone for anything. Unless he did it, yeah. you know, he alerted somebody or did something. But then he said, somebody told me to pick up the package. Yeah, I heard that. He also did that thing a lot that people do when they lie, which is answer the question with a nonsensical answer. So you kept asking, like, you told me you were expecting a package. And then he kept saying, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to go in the mailbox. But that doesn't yeah. make any sense. And he kept saying that, yeah. you know. All we can do more is just like, we did not get shot. And this is a success. <laughs> We warn him if he's involved, you know, stay away from this because next time, uh, FedEx. Yeah. Was, um, the more of these addresses that we can disrupt for the scammers, yeah. the harder it is for them to pull this off. Absolutely. They have to reroute. And if they, he's they, telling the truth, then he really has no idea what's going on. He certainly will be a lot more alert for packages coming for Paul and hopefully will stop that conduit um, for this scammer. Yeah, 100%. I mean, that's a benefit. Of course I want someone arrested, but it's not that fucking simple. And if he's innocent, he's gonna be more cautious and... No, and that's why we have to blur him. We have to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, not expose who he is, because he might not have anything to do with this. Yeah. But it is very suspicious. Look, if he's innocent, then we maybe helped him to be more aware of something that could harm him. If he's not innocent, then we probably spooked the shit out of him. Yeah. Either way, it's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, he just, he just emailed me. Um, Oh. Ryan, what is going on? You did not reply to my mail. The text now subscriber. So this package is not here yet. But it's gonna be here within an hour, guaranteed. Probably sooner because we just saw FedEx go by. What if we park on the street for a few minutes and just see what happens? See if someone comes and grabs it. Sure. left here. Yeah. If you haven't yet downloaded the app RoboKiller, then you're probably lost in an abyss of constant scam calls and telemarketer calls and robocalls that are becoming more and more annoying every single day. How would you like Art or myself to answer those calls for you? We can. Download RoboKiller right now, an awesome app, our friends, and also the sponsor of the Scam Bust. It's an honor for us to not only promote the app, but also use it ourselves and even be featured in the app. There's a link in the description below. Please use it so they know Trilogy Media sent you and try the app for free right now. The app will automatically block all the telemarketers and the scam calls, robocalls, all that from even ringing on your phone. And not only that, the app will intercept the calls and play pre-recorded recorded answer bots to the spammers to waste their time and to make them think they're talking to a real person. And if you're like us, you'll love to listen back to the calls later in the app and roll on the floor laughing. There's a shark circling my boat. You gotta hit him in the nose. Art and I have dozens of answer bots in the app. You can put us in your phone right now. We will answer your scam calls for you. It'll save you time and provide you with some wild entertainment. Next time a scammer calls you, don't waste your time answering it. Let us answer it while Art's giving me a Brazilian wax. Breathe, okay? I'm breathing. Breathe. It doesn't hurt a lot. <laughs> or let the scammer come join us in the delivery room while I welcome my first child. Breathe. She's going into labor. Okay. No, don't freak out. Just don't pass out. Calm down. You're about to be a father. Calm down. Don't lose consciousness. Breathe. Breathe. Hold her hand. Exactly. And don't look down. Don't look down. Try the app for free for seven days and please use the link below so they know that Trilogy Media sent you. It helps us to continue busting scammers and making videos just like this. If it's like left in the mailbox, because he tried to get you to leave it in the mailbox. So if he tries that again and it's left in the mailbox, then... Well, somebody else, maybe, maybe someone person. else will walk up and pick it up. Yeah. Again. And it's gonna be right in the middle. That's the one that we need. is that staying that far not gonna accomplish anything because we would not we're not gonna see who's gonna get the package that guy or somebody else but if, 
The only other spot was the one directly in front of his house. Wait, where is it? It's more back, right? It's, yeah, it's more back. That's our package, yeah. He did not, he did not accept it. He did not accept the package. Oh my god. He did not accept the fucking package. You fucking bastard. He got spooked. Yeah. He got spooked, okay, put it down, put it down, I have glasses. He got fucking spooked. Holy shit. He did not accept it, huh? No, I fucking knew it. Dude got spooked. He sent that package back. Good. Fucking good. So hopefully he'll send back all, all further future ones. future ones. He was like, no, send that package back. <laughs> 